Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Blue Goffball here today with another Pokemon TCG online video. And today I'm gonna be doing a tournament. I'm gonna be taking a spin, taking this um, uh, Flareon and uh, Vespaquen deck out on a spin here in the expanded tournament. Uh, it costed me four tickets, but you know, I got like 219 right here, so plenty of tickets. And let's see how deep we can run, uh, how, what kind of run we're going to get in this tournament. Um, yeah, speaking of tournaments right now, we have the NFL playoffs uh, for those here in America. Pretty big deal. You know, Super Bowl has a huge number of viewers and man, getting a commercial in the Super Bowl is like millions of dollars and actually, you know, Pokemon has a commercial <laughs> during the Super Bowl halftime show, so that's something to watch out for and those of you who are not in america and you guys all you probably all know the super bowl is a huge deal the nfl playoffs is a big deal and so um i'm from wisconsin my team um the packers have lost they lost in a pretty disappointing overtime loss to the arizona cardinals um you know aaron Rodgers threw a hail mary and i don't know how many yards that was, it was like 50 or 60 yards it was a beautiful catch uh, made that touchdown play uh, sent it over to overtime and then um you know there's always that a lot of people were saying the um the coin toss was rigged but you know hey it, it is what it is the packers lost to the cardinals and uh the cardinals moving on so we're gonna be playing against a psychic and colorless deck we see a mewtwo deck box right there uh Fez X1 is calling the coin flip. Gotta wait and see who gets to go first. We see a reverse uh, Zoro or coin. Usually, I see, I typically see the one that's red, and then the uh, you know the uh, the outside of it's white. This is kind of a reverse uh, coin of that, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I see, a lot, I do see a lot of Zoro or coins. It is a nice coin. I do like it a lot. Um, you know, I feel like sometimes we should get rid of these coins and go with um, dice, huh? What about that, huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, this is supposed to be a kid's game online, so it's kid-friendly. You know, heads and tails is easier. Instead of seeing, like, you know, a dice roll, we see a six or a two, and that's a heads, you know. Uh, definitely, you know, that's understandable. Um, but it would be cool if they uh, can make it so that um, it's one or the other. Uh, you can choose if you want to uh, see a coin or choose if you want to see a dice instead. That would be pretty fun. Um, so right now, we are not in a very favorable position. Uh, we are starting second. We see a Spoink right here, 50 HP, flail around, and it can flip three coins. Could potentially hit for 30 damage for one Psychic Energy. But since my opponent is going first, uh, he's not going to be able to attack. And that would be very unlikely to flip three heads and knock out our combi. <laughs> be pretty disappointing. So... Since there's a likelihood of that happening altogether, it, it does put me in a position where I feel like I want to play a bench Pokemon in the scenario where the Spoink does flail around and get three heads. And so it's kind of like, ah, man, what the heck? I, I might as well get a bench going. And they're kind of going on our merry way. Uh, so in this kind of scenario, um, you know... Uh, hmm. Alright, well, we're going to get rid of... Probably the Flareon, I think. And let's go ahead. Um, so there's really no way to get... Uh, so we do play Archie's Ace and Hole and Empoleon. But there's really no way to get that going. Um, I might just play this to get a Battle Compressor. And then get the Battle Compressor to kind of thin out my deck. So let's go with that, and then we're gonna play an N. Uh, I'm really reluctant to play this uh, DCE. This is very conservative, because um, there's that chance where my opponent will be able to knock out that poor little combi in the next turn. And so what we're gonna do is, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of skim through the deck really quick. Let's get rid of that. And you know, we could get rid of Archie's. I only play one copy, uh, but I might leave Archie's in here for now in case we run into it. Um, and we have Via Seekers, which can get us, um, you know, Archies. And we do have um, Jirachi here as well, so I might keep that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to discard the Mr. Mime. We're going to go with this right here. And, yeah, I'm really reluctant to play the DCE, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, end that away. Now I really regret it. Um, wow, I do I vastly regret it. So we're actually going to hang on to the Mew. I don't plan on playing the Mew just yet. Let's go ahead and Battle Compress, get rid of some more Pokemon. Since uh, we've already gotten rid of a Flareon, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of another Eevee. 
And, you know, it's pretty safe to say let's get rid of another uh, Vespaquin and a Combi line. I think that's pretty good. Uh, we have plenty of Combis and stuff to go, so we're not looking too shabby right there. So two Combis and two Vespaquin still, and we're just going to get rid of those. Then out the deck a little bit more. We will end the turn. Again, I have the Mew here for the next turn. We do miss on the energy drop, but what we're gonna, we're, what we're going to do is probably play the, um, the Floatstone onto the EV this way. Uh, the play around with two retreat can have a nice, easy access to hit the bench whenever we need to. Play down the Mew, play down the Juniper, and then go on our merry way with a nice, fresh hand size of seven. We see here... The Mountain Ring, prevent all damage done to bench Pokemon by attacks from both yours and your opponent. So thank goodness we got rid of that Mr. Mime. That would have been redundant if we kept Mr. Mime in play and just kind of drew into it. So we do see a Bouflon over there as well as a bunch of bats. Uh, three bats right now that can easily just swarm us. We see an Evil Soda. So uh, unless that Spoink is going to evolve into um, the Gump Pig. Oh, never mind. So he uses a, a, a Golbat here instead of playing from the hand. So I think he may be planning to get Crobat at some point, and then that could be a knockout on the combi. Uh, so we are really on borrowed time right now. Heads, heads, and heads. Oh my goodness, he did flip three heads. Thank goodness we have an Eevee right here. And then that way we did not lose the game. Wow, that was so tragic. Um, I did not play the Mew right away because of the very fact that um, in case my opponent was able to... Um, what do you call it? Play Headringer, and then uh, that that would really, really cause some trouble for us. Um, but you know what? We are in a pretty good scenario here. We could probably knock this guy out in one shot pretty easily. But I'm gonna keep the Mew on the bench because this this uh, Bouflon here can get powered up pretty quickly, and then that could hit our Mew and knock it out pretty easily there as well. So let's just go ahead. We're gonna go for that Vengeance. Should be a knockout here. We got plenty of Pokemon in our discard pile. Does hit for 90 damage. And again, that's not gonna be enough to knock out the Bouflon uh, because simply because the Bouflon does have that Boofer right there. So we're gonna need to find ways to get more Pokemon into the discard pile. It's gonna take two turns for this Bouflon to use that Gold Breaker. The Gold Breaker's only hitting for 60, but here comes that Golbat. The Golbat's gonna chip away at our Flareon, so we desperately need to get going here and get some more Pokemon in the discard pile. We do see an AZ. He does pick up um, the Golbat, and that means he's gonna put another 20 damage onto our Flareon, which should be a one-hit knockout, basically, from the Bouflant. I mean, not really one hit, but yeah, it'll take one hit from the Bouflant to knock us out at this point. And so we need to find a way to take out this Bouflant really quickly. Let's go ahead and take a look and see. Oh, we don't get anything off of this here. This is pretty pathetic. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to go with this. I will need to play the end right now. Um, I'm actually gonna play this right here onto the Mew for now and keep that Mew as a backup attacker potentially. Uh, we'll keep the grass, the water energies in place as well. We do have another Combi getting ready to go. We can play the Combi right here and in the next turn we have DC as well as another Vespaquin as a backup attacker. The Flareon is very likely gonna go down. Um, and that's okay. I'd rather have the Flareon go down than the Mew. So let's go ahead. We're going to go for that Vengeance. We're just going to hit for 90. It's not going to be enough, per se. Uh, it's going to be one short. That's tragic right there. We couldn't find another way to discard some more things. And now we see right here, Hard Charm is on that Boofalon as well with the Boofer. And even see a Jinx over here to heal it up a little bit. <clears throat> so those bats were definitely coming in handy right now. But again, we will have our uh, Vespaquin ready to go. Uh, we can use Intelligence Gathering. That won't be able to hit for enough. But, um, we, um, you know, I think we're going to go with the Vespaquin. I think it's a pretty safe route. Uh, could go with the <laughs> the Mew now. Oh, my goodness. We see a Mew 2 EX with it. That's going to be very frightening. That's going to be a very easy to prize knockout on our Mew EX unless we are able to knock out this Mew 2 EX first. If we can top deck a Lysander, I would love to drag this thing out and knock it out. But the Bouflant will be able to knock us out right away. And then maybe we could be able to... Oh my goodness, that Crobat knocks out our poor Combi. And we didn't even get a chance to evolve. Oh man, this is not looking good. Uh, we may be out of the game in our first match against this uh, hodgepodge deck of uh, bats and, um, you, and, and psychic Pokemon. Here we go, we get hit for that Gold Breaker. We're going to bring in our Mew EX. We're going to be able to copy the X-Ball and knock out this Bouffalant. Uh, but that's going to be about it, and um, as tragic as it is, um, hmm, 
Yeah, we can X ball. This should be this should be enough, more than enough to knock it out. My opponent's gonna need a DCE to knock out our Mew. Uh, that Mew would be able to get. Ooh, I don't know. Um, the DC would hit X ball. Was that one, two, three, four? It's eighty. Oh, he, he promotes the Jinx instead. So we are really in a desperate situation here. That Crobat knocked out our Combi, and um, man, look at this. We're just getting uh, hammered right now by these bats. And a very annoying bats indeed having to deal with this. We do get hit with an N, so we're going to go back to four cards. My opponent's down to three. Uh, perhaps he's really chasing for that DCE. Uh, now we can actually Lysander out um, that Mewtwo with the Battle Compressor here. Uh, so this has actually given us a pretty good chance uh, to do that, uh, bringing out this, um, this Mewtwo. Um, otherwise, yeah, let's just go ahead. We're going to grab that out here. Um, I might just get rid of the Archie's Ace in a Hole and maybe even the Jirachi. I don't know. Uh, could get rid of uh, the Hex Maniac. Oh, yeah, the Hex Maniac would be really nice to shut off the abilities. Maybe we can run into that later on. Um, let's see, for now, I think I might just go with the Jirachi. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Jirachi is really good, too. If I can draw into Jirachi, that would be pretty sweet. Um, so we got only one... Flareon left as well as so we're gonna get rid of this Vespa Quinn since one of our combis is already gone um, So it's got one two three four uh, It's not gonna be enough. We're gonna be hitting for 60 um, Yeah, oh man, that's not gonna be enough at all um, So let's thin out the deck some more um, Let's go ahead and grab what should we grab? Maybe this time around we will go for the Jirachi as well as, uh, I don't know, let's see, uh, let's probably get rid of the Juniper, really just thinning out our deck at this point, uh, a couple things that we don't want to see anymore, we could keep, uh, hold on to, you know, I'm going to get rid of the Bunnelby, no need to see that either, um, okay, alright, we're, we're going to have to do this here. I'm going to have to go with uh, the Juniper, and we're going to just dig through our deck. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll get out a, an Execute, and so we'll have to go that way. But we're going to be down to two, um, down to one prize at this rate. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and... Can I use the Busybody? Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do Busybody. There we go. <laughs> Uh, not, I don't know if that's really going to help at all. Um, okay. Ooh, man, this is getting pretty scary. Should be able to knock out one, two. Uh, so that's going to hit for 40 times two. That's the jinx. Okay. All right, let's go with that right there. And let's go with X ball. Um, oh, man. Ooh, the Mewtwo is going to be able to come out. We really need to get some more Pokemon into the discard pile. Ooh, we do get an Ultra Ball, which can get us another Flareon. Uh, great, now we got rid we got rid of that, um, the Jirachi. <laughs> I totally regret it now. Does he have another energy card? If he does, he will be able to knock out our Mew. He gets out a Shauna. Can he get an energy card off of this? Oh man, this is getting mighty scary. Oh, another Mewtwo EX comes into play. There is the energy. Our Mew EX is gonna go down. Oh man, a tragic. Uh, one, two, three, four, and times two, so that's going to be uh, 160. That's more than enough to knock out our Mew EX. We don't have a Silver Bangle. we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Should be enough. That will be enough to knock it out. Um, but yeah, this is getting really, really close right here. Oh man, very close. Um, so we are... In huge desperate times right now. Let's go ahead and let's go propagation. Um, let's see here. Get rid of this Vespaquin. Let's get out our last Flareon. Oh my goodness, we got a Combi. Uh, we do have, however, we do have uh, the Super Rod, which we can get back uh, some things. But for now, let's get back. Uh, let's get the Archie's Ace in a Hole. We could have gone with an N um, and end my opponent down, but at this point. I mean, I don't know, maybe this, maybe, I think this may have been the, a better route, or a good route at the very least. Um, 
So we're down to six cards. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to grab our uh, Vespaquen and uh, let's see what else. Maybe maybe, maybe the Audino. Uh, we could go with the, the Mew. Ooh, let's go with the Bunnelby. That way we can shuffle some things back. I don't know how much time I got left to do that. Um, but yes, uh, where is... I don't know. I think my opponent may have this one. I should have gone with the N. I'm thinking now I probably should have gone with the N and end my opponent down to one. Uh, it could have been really huge and allowed us to make a comeback. Um, but yeah, we're, we are here now. Uh, let's go with the Vengeance. This will knock out this uh, Mewtwo. The question is, uh, so really, if he has a Lysander and a DCE, he can actually Lysander out the Combi and knock it out. Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, darn. <laughs> that was a huge risk. We're down to 1-1. One, one. Does my opponent have a Lysander and a DCE? Uh, we can see here one DC's in there, uh, no Lysander as of yet. Uh, probably shouldn't have played the Combi. I think the Combi was a terrible idea, now that I look at it. Um, yeah, darn, I should have gone on with the N. Oh, I should have ended my opponent. The Empoleon is nice and all. Oh, never mind, my opponent did not play Lysander. He could still use a, uh, what is it, the um, uh, Pokemon Catcher. Uh, that could have happened still. And uh, drag out the Combi, and then if he has DCE, he could do that as well. Oh, actually, all he needs is one energy drop and use a skill dive. Um, oh, man, actually, he should have played <laughs> Oh, he should have played it on the Crobat. Oh, gosh, I didn't even think about that. He could have used skill dive on the Combi and won the game. Oh, man, I should have never benched this Combi. Um, but hey, we dodged this bullet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Can't believe it. Either that or I should have um, played the Ultra Ball and not have grabbed the Combi. So we really lucked out here. He could have played the Energy on the Crobat and um, could have knocked out the Combi using the Skill Dive and knocked out the Combi. Well, actually, wait, because of Mountain Ring, he won't be able to hit us. Um, but yeah, he's going to be moving. Okay, so he played the escape rope. Uh, and Poland's got 140 HP. We'll be able to survive the turn. So yeah, so again, the, the amount ring actually helped us out because this skill dive is an attack. And it won't be able to hit this Combi. And he does not have any other Crobats to be able to play for a surprise bite. Okay, thank goodness. So, okay, so that means that Combi was pretty protected. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh, man. Either way, I, I think the Combi was a liability if he had Lysander and DCE. Uh, or not even Lysander and DCE. Um, but yeah, so we totally lucked out right here. Oh my goodness, did we luck out. Um, yes, we did. We absolutely lucked out. Um... Let's just go ahead and do a diving draw here. All right. And we even get the Silver Bangle. Here we go. Let's go with Vengeance. That should be enough to knock it out. And we will take the win. 220 damage. Taking a win in classic fashion. There's our last Empoleon right there. Oh, man. Empoleon came pretty late to the... Ooh, look at this. Hey, we almost got that uh, daily challenge done there. Okay, let's go ahead and get to this next match. Looks like everyone is almost done besides Rooted and Xerneas, Xerneas Horns. Huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't think Xerneas has horns, in my opinion. I think Xerneas has antlers. I don't know. Um, Last Guardian has beaten Quizzet. We see Outcast is OG, is the original gangster. Uh, was defeated by Dwarf Lord and Blue Goffa. Yours truly defeated Hez X1. So thank goodness we were able to dodge that bullet. Um, but yeah, look at that. I already have 43 packs of these uh, breakthroughs and four locked packs. So I have plenty of packs. I usually use these packs for uh, just for trading uh, to get cards and resources that I actually need. Uh, so I really don't need any more breakthrough packs, but uh, I'm playing this so you guys you guys want me to do tournaments. You guys like watching me play in tournaments, and it's always a lot of fun. I, I made a couple of mistakes uh, with uh, Fez X uh, one. Certainly, I could have gone with the N instead of the Archie's Ace and Hole, but you know what? Hey, I wanted to pull off that Archie's Ace and Hole just for the heck of it. And uh, you know what matters at the end was we were able to pull off the win, so I'll take it. So we got single elimination here, three rounds. Um, yeah, I mean... If you guys are interested, we can take a look at the deck really quick. Uh, let's go to the deck manager here. Uh, I have a whole bunch of decks right here. I mean, um, let me just do a really quick search. Flareon and Vespaquin. All right, so this is the deck that I'm using right now. Um, you can see, pretty straightforward. Uh, I do have the Mew EX here for just that versatile. Um, makes it so nice to be able to copy 
Vengeance or anything else on the board, really. Uh, and you saw right there, I was able to use X-Ball against the Jinx and also against the Buffalant. Um, of course, ideally, I wanted to use the Lysander and bring out that Mewtwo EX and use X-Ball against that Mewtwo EX and hit for weakness. But um, it would have been a little bit short. Uh, I would have hit for 160 and that Mewtwo EX would have survived by uh, 10 HP. Um, you know, plus power would be pretty cool, but, you know, that's very circumstantial. You have to have that just at the right moments. And so, you know, it's kind of those things where plus power falls out of favor for me. Um, a couple things that I could have done in this deck is maybe add uh, Pokemon, uh, maybe Random Receiver would be pretty fun. Uh, maybe remove one VS Seeker 4 Random Receiver. That wouldn't be terrible. Um, and then, yeah, otherwise I could have gone with more Executes. I decided to just go with one. I do have two Empoleons to one Archies uh, trying to leverage the VS Seekers if I need more uh, Empoleons that way. But Empoleon works really well being a water type, just having that nice, um, you know, opposition to fire uh, type decks. And then, of course, we have the Grass Weak Pokemon you know, with Vespaquin. We can take advantage of Grass Weak Pokemon this way. Flareon, yes, uh, Vengeance with the Fire Weak Pokemon. That's mostly Metal Pokemon and Grass Pokemon being Fire Weak. We do, I play one Bunnelby here with the Ancient Trink Barrage here, be able to use Burl uh, and Rototiller, mostly for Rototiller in case we need to shuffle. Um, DCEs and recycle these DCEs. We only play four copies of DCEs and three water energies. The three water energies is for the Empoleon. Of course, we can get those back with the Super Rod. But yeah, I play one copy here of Bundle B. And you never know either when you run into a, uh, a deck um, where it kind of burns through their cards really fast and then you end up using Burl a couple times and you do win by deck out. Uh, that can certainly happen as well. you got to use resources. I am playing three Audinos here with Busybody. We saw that used for the Mew EX and healed off a couple damage counters from that uh, crow bite sneaky uh sneaky bite whatever that was or surprise bite and um you know, otherwise i mean the aldinos you never know hip bump could come into action as kind of silly as it sounds uh, maybe you're playing audino Ooh, it's gonna begin in 60 seconds you're playing audino and then you play a dc onto audino and then you do a hip bump and knock out and execute i don't know that could definitely happen that's kind of silly um, Jirachi, I play one copy of Jirachi, I did play two, uh, Jirachi is really helpful to get Archie's ace and hole, but I found that, you know, playing one copy is good enough because more often than not, I found myself starting with the Jirachi EX and it was just bogus. I'd rather start with Execute, well, maybe not, maybe, maybe not, because you can get hit with a fast raid from, um, uh, what is that, Eladios EX, and then it's like, oh, what the heck. Um, Besides these two guys, you wouldn't want to start with them. Anything else is pretty okay. It's pretty decent. Uh, ideally, you don't want to start with Audino, but 80 HP is pretty nice. Uh, able to just kind of sit out there for at least one turn, perhaps. Maybe buy yourself a turn or two with 80 HP. <laughs> That's silly. Uh, Mr. Mime isn't the best thing to start off with, but Bench Bearer really helps. Um, you can see right here, Combi is just 30 HP. And also, um, you know, Execute is highly susceptible to... Uh, getting target whistled and so you know, I don't know keeping mr. Mime is in a bad idea So we're playing against another psychic deck. We're gonna be playing against uh, What is this guy gonna draw dwarf lord here and I'm gonna go heads or tails I'm gonna choose heads and it is tails. We would lose the coin toss and uh, Dwarf lord is gonna go first I would assume um, that's okay. I mean, ideally, we'd want to go first. That way we get to evolve first. But whoa, whoa, whoa. My opponent actually allowed us to go first. That is most peculiar. Um, so we're going to start off with the Eevee. And then I'm going to sit on this uh, Mr. Mime. We don't exactly need to play it until we see... who we see a Golbat. We see a Headringer. So we may be seeing a Wobbuffet. Um, some kind of Wobbuffet Crobat deck. Uh, and, and you know what? I might just play Mr. Mime in case we see something silly like Supercross. Right, I don't want to see Supercross, that would be just dreadful. So, uh, let's see what he opens up with. We see a Gallade EX over here, the 170 HP Gallade Psychic EX. Piercing Prizes, Swift Lunge. I'm going to play the Mr. Mime in case anything silly happens. Let's go with the Battle Compressor. In a scenario like this, um, you know, honestly, we will probably... I'm going to play an N. I don't... I have three VS Seekers. I don't want to burn all three VS Seekers. I'm going to play N. Plus, I can preserve one of our uh, Flareons. Don't need to discard that right away either. And, um, you know what? Ideally, we could probably discard the Archie's Ace and Hole. But at this point, I think I might just discard um, an Audino. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not an Audino. 
Um, could discard. I don't know. I might discard the combi. I don't. I don't know. These combis. Since the last match we saw, the combis just had a terrible matchup against the crowbats, just getting picked off with that sneaky bite, and it was just way too uh, yeah, heavy on the liability side. So let's just play an end. Yeah, we will end my opponent, and that probably helps my opponent out too. Um, but hey, we're actually off to a pretty decent start here, and uh, I'm gonna hang on to the Mew EX. I may just discard the Mew EX in the next turn. We did not see Execute in our deck, so our Execute is in our prize cards, and that's gonna be a little bit depressing there. I'm gonna hang on to this Mew EX. I don't wanna see Headringer get played onto the Mew EX right away. We saw that my opponent was playing Headringer. Uh, I should have played a DC. What am I doing? Um, I don't exactly want to play DC either in case of um, Enhanced Hammer. Since my opponent allowed us to go first, I hate when that happens. We play DC, we get to go first, we play DC, and he plays Enhanced Hammer. Seeing Headringer is a huge red flag for me, uh, knowing that, you know, annoying cards like that usually bring forth other annoying cards. Uh, one annoying card just breeds more annoying cards. So we saw Headringer, we see Bats, I can only assume we're going to see Enhanced Hammer. Uh, I think the better the better scenario here is to keep and hold on to our DCEs. It's not necessary to play them right now. Uh, we do see a Dimension Valley out here, and then we even see a Swift Lunge going to be happening here, uh, hitting us for 30, and I believe that does... Uh, he can switch, and he does. He opts to switch, and so the EV that's injured is out here, meaning that... Um, he has a chance to knock out this guy. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go and discard these things here. Oh, man. I could have gotten Archie's Ace in a Hole if I really wanted to um, by playing the Mew down uh, again. But it's just so susceptible to uh, getting hit with um, a Headringer that I, I want to. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather not just give that to chance. So... Um, we do have a Hex Maniac here. I am going to go with an N again. Hopefully that can disrupt my opponent. He's down with three cards. I may not want to do that. I might just go with... Uh, I'm going to go with the N. Uh, the DC is way too valuable. Um, and yeah, we're going to give him more cards. Uh, that's a little bit of a bummer. But it put us in a good position to evolve right now. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to evolve. Uh, this Eevee might just go down... Um, Darn it. Uh, this can only heal our active, so I don't want to play Audino right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the Battle Compressor. Let's just get rid of one Vespaquin as well as... Um, you know what? Let's just get rid of these guys. I don't think... I think I might just stick with one more line of Combi Vespaquin. Um, actually, no. We still have <laughs> we still have a 2-2 line in there. Okay. Well, let's go for this Vengeance. This is going to put up a lot of damage, put a lot of pressure here. Hit him for 110. That'll be a two-hit knockout. Of course, you can start playing the Bats. We can see two Crowbats. That would actually attack the Eevee and knock out the Eevee, uh, which is pretty devastating. So right now, our Swift Lunge can certainly happen. Here is one of the Crowbats. I may be thinking he's going to try to attack the Flareon. Yes, and yes, he does. Does attack the Flareon. Thank goodness we do have an Audino here, but he may go with the Swift Lunge and move... Uh, our Flareon onto the bench, and so that would be a little bit annoying. We, we do see a Professor Birch's observation. He was able to flip heads, and wow, we even see a Lucky Helmet. And once we attack and knock out this Galate EX, he's going to be able to draw two cards off that Lucky Helmet. Does he play any more bats, though? That's the next question. I'm very concerned over these bats. Thank goodness we don't play the EV. That's 50 HP, even though the art works better. And that's it. We get hit with a Swift Lunge. He he may opt to move um, our EV, our Flareon. And yes, we're going to move uh, into the EV over here. We're going to be able to use the Audino. Um, I don't want to play Combi because of the Crowbat. The Crowbat's going to be able to uh, simply knock out... Um, Knock out the combi right away. So we're going to go ahead and heal off 10 damage here. And um, uh, let's go with the Super Rod, I suppose. I think I'm, I'm going to Super Rod back the Mew as well as an Energy. And probably the Aldino uh, because you never know. The Aldino can come in handy. And then we're going to go with the Juniper and discard both the Energy here and the Combi. Let's see if we can get a DCE. We do. We get the Flareon and the DCE. We even get another Adino here to heal off some more damage. We have this here for us. Let's go ahead and play this down. And uh, we're going to just kind of work our way through here. We have an Archie's Ace in a Hole. Uh, we do have an Eevee that I'm, I'm probably going to play. Yeah, let's go ahead and just play that right now. And let's go for that Vengeance. We will knock out this uh, Galate EX. Uh, man, back-to-back... 
opponents playing bats, and that's very inconvenient. I really dislike bats, but we get another Empoleon here. Again, we can discard, could play the Juniper and discard everything we do have. VS Seekers, thank goodness we shuffle them back in with playing the end. Remember, we had three VS Seekers in hand, so we still have three VS Seekers left in our deck. We see the Golbat here get promoted into the active spot with the free retreat. Does give my opponent some um, you know flexibility to move back onto his bench and move promote something else up. Uh, unless he wants to keep the Golbat uh, with the Super Cross, we'll only hit 10 on the Flareon because of our Mr. Mime. Uh, we'll block that damage. And uh, I don't think we're going to be seeing that. We do see a Lysander here. Brings out the Mr. Mime. Remember, we do have Floatstone. We do have Escape Rope. We already, uh, we still have Switch as well. So we have a lot of things that are very flexible. I, I can only assume he's going to attack the Mr. Mime. Oh, that's interesting. He opts not to attack the Flareon. I would assume he would have gone for the Flareon. But at this rate right now, I want to keep this last spot for an Empoleon. If we can pull that off, we have one Empoleon in this card pile. And then we have our only Archie, Archie's Ace and a hole in our hand as well. I'm going to play the DC down onto our Eevee here and hopefully evolve this Eevee into another Flareon. We see another uh, Crowbat here. Probably going to go ahead and attack this Mr. Mime. I can only assume, and then he's probably going to play an energy down and attack and knock out the Mr. Mime. We've already used our Super Rod, so this Mr. Mime is not coming back. And there it is. There is another 20 damage. We are at 20 HP. He's going to be able to play an energy down here and um, hit us for a swift lunge. It looks like the Crowbat's going to uh, retreat. Uh, oh, never mind. We just see a skill dive, and that's going to be a knockout, hitting us for 60 damage. Wow, unnecessary. He probably could have used the sneaky bite onto something else. Uh, but at this rate, I might just promote the injured Flareon, let this one take the hits if need be, and uh, yeah, go on from there. Um, so we have a Floatstone here. I'm actually going to play the Floatstone onto the Drachi, uh, since we are going to end up discarding everything here. Let's go ahead and play the DCE right there. Sadly, we're going to need to discard everything. And let's take a look and see. Ooh, we have a Mew as well as... Oh, man, I played uh, played the DC onto the wrong Pokemon, but that's okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, I wonder how much we're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we're heading for nine uh, plus the base, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we... You know what? I'm just going to... I'm going to go for it. I'm going to take out these two guys. And... Um, Let's grab our last. Ooh, we have an Audino here. Perfect. All right, we can play the Audino, and um, just, we'll just go ahead and heal off. All right, so this will be a one-hit knockout on the the, the Crowbat here, and thankfully we can get the job done. Now, um, do I want to switch over? That's the question. But you know, what? let's just go and attack. We'll deal with it later. We have an energy. Uh, could definitely play the energy onto our Flare on here. Uh, we played three copies of the Water Energy. And what do we got? Oh, we got the Execute. Dang it. I did not need to see Execute. Why? Oh, man. Bummer. We have one Water Energy left, so I'm actually going to play it onto this Flareon. We see a Pumpkaboo get promoted here. We are down at three cards. My opponent's at five. We had a really good chance to get Archie's Ace in a hole, but this Execute had to show up. That's the problem here. Uh, if it was anything else, we probably could have been able to do it. Ooh, we're going to see a Confuse Ray. That's okay with me. I don't mind seeing Confuse Ray one bit. Uh, we can play the switch and then Float Stone back. Uh, certainly we can do that. We see a Sacred Ash from my opponent getting a Crowbat, Zubat, Gallate, EX, Crowbat back into his deck. Uh, and then a Professor Birch's Observation guaranteeing at least four cards. He does flip heads. Oh my guns. I wish I got really lucky with Professor Birch's Observation flipping heads. My goodness. And here it is, a 30 damage. Probably going on the flare round in the active spot, I would assume. Uh, never mind. Puts 30 onto this flare round. So both flare round is at 40 damage. We do have a VS Seeker, which we can play for maybe a Lysander. Uh, if we have the Lysander in the discard pile, and we don't. Um... I might just have to go with the Juniper and discard our hand away. That's not ideal. Um, do we have a Flare? One of our Flareons is prized, so that's um, that's a bummer. That means I play I really played the wrong... I played the DC on the wrong Eevee. Man, I, I forgot which one was which. And I played it on the Eevee that I couldn't evolve. Probably should have just held on to this Flareon, not evolve it just yet, but whatever. It is what it is. We see a Gorgeist here. We're going to be able to hit... For 20 damage across. Wow, look at that. Yuri voice. Gonna have to deal with that. Talk about annoyance. Um, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, we don't exactly need to play Hex Maniac. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, right now it's kind of a strange scenario. Um, certainly not the best situation to be in. Um, or, you know, let's take a look and see. Uh, we got one Ultra Ball, two Ultra Balls. So we still have two Ultra Balls left in the deck that we could draw. Um, hmm. Well, this is a tough call. Uh, I could just play the Hex Maniac for the heck of it and uh, go on our merry way instead of playing via seeker i do like to keep that switch that switch is definitely very handy in case something gets lysandered out um dang okay uh well ooh. uh yeah okay oh man let's just go for this juniper all right yeah i don't want to deck out either decking out is a terrible scenario i don't want to see that happen but i'll take my chances here so we see a Vespaquin, we see, okay, we see a couple different things. We even see this right here too, another water energy. Oh man, darn it, I play the water energy on the Flareon. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't think our uh, uh, our Empoleon's ever gonna attack, I guess. Okay, well, let's go for that Vengeance here. And yes, let's just go for the Vengeance. We will be able to knock this guy out, we'll hit for 150. Again, because of the Silver Bangle, that would be a knockout on this Gallade. So what does the Gallade, uh, what can the Gallade do? That's the question. And oh wow, look at this. Um, we actually have a good chance to get Archie's Ace in a hole now. This is great. This is really good. Uh, and that way we can get our Empoleon and then <laughs> a little bit late to the game. Not that we really need Empoleon at this point. I think we have things under control. We see a DCE this get discarded by the Enhanced Hammer. So I knew, I knew it. I knew this guy played Enhanced Hammer. I totally called it. Oh boy, we're gonna see probably an N, I think. We see a Via Seeker here. Could go for he could be going for Shauna or Professor Birch's observation. We see an ace trainer. That's better than an N at this point. Actually, this helps us out. We're already down to eight cards. We see an ace trainer. That's okay. N would have been pretty close. He would have end us down to two. He would have gotten five cards. So you know what? Hey, that's alright. Um and uh ooh, oh my goodness. Can we ask for a better hand than this? This is amazing. Wow, not only can we thin out our hand, our, our hand some more, um, man, this is great. So I'm actually going to, if, if our um, our Flareon survives this turn, which I don't think it will, uh, he's going to be able to sneaky bite us, uh, yeah. Um, right, I don't think we're going to be able to survive the turn, and uh, we do have one DCE left, so we can actually get this Flareon going, uh, I can play the VS, uh, computer search for that DCE, um, or we could try going for a VS Seeker, Archie's Ace and Hole. Uh, ooh, we see the Gallate EX over there getting powered up. Okay, so we get, we're get going to get hit with a Skill Dive. And we sur we do survive the turn. That means we won the match here. We did. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just play these two. I'm going to keep the tra Trainer's Mail in case we really need it. Um, but yes, where's that Lysander? Here we go. Um... All right, well, we'll lie stand this out. This should be more than enough. With the Silver Bangle, it should be a knockout. I'm not even going to count, and there it is. Hitting for 180. That's a knockout. Taking the last two prizes. Certainly, we could have kept that Battle Compressor and gotten rid of more Pokemon, but you know what? We saw... Oh, my goodness. We're going to go ahead and play the next match already. Okay. Nice. We got done with the Daily Challenge. Um, what should we do? I mean, uh, let's just go with... Uh, huh. Nah, I caught 16 Pokemon. Put 10 evolution cards in play. Sure, I'll pick this one. Okay, we're going to be playing against Rooted, R00TED, and uh, Rooted over here uh, looks pretty good. Looking pretty solid right now. We are in the finals. Uh, we got 30 seconds left. You guys got to see the deck analysis. Uh, we got to see. Like, we got played. We played against back to back. Uh, uh, decks that had Crobat lines in it, and how annoying is that? Can you imagine if we played Rooted here and they're playing a Crobat line as well? That would be absolutely annoying. And that last deck that we played against, I totally called it. We saw Headringer and we saw these, uh, Enhance Hammer. Uh, some very annoying tools in there to try to uh, bother us, but luckily we were able to pull off our strategy, get the job done, and get the knockout that we needed. Um, so okay, we're gonna play against Rooted here. Uh, it is we are we do have the advantage. He's playing also a psychic deck, so very well could see maybe Gardevoir, uh, Gardevoir, uh, that garbage Pokemon. Finally, we have won the coin toss. My opponent has chosen heads, and result was tails. Yes, I guess we'll go first. That way we get to evolve first, and uh, we do start off with an Eevee here. That's pretty solid. Um, otherwise, oh man, this is oh gosh, this is pretty rough. Okay. Um, 
it doesn't look like we will be able to um, to get uh, our turn one Archies. Uh, let's just go ahead. We're going to get rid of these guys. And um, so we see, ooh, we see Gengar. We see a Mewtwo over there. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to discard more Pokemon. And then we're going to go with an N. Uh, I'd rather play, I don't know. Should we go with the Combi? I think we can go with Combi. Combi is a pretty safe bet. Uh, otherwise, yeah, yeah, let's go with Combi. All right, so Combi, welcome, welcome to the show, Combi. Let's play the end right now. Um, again, I'm always really worried about playing uh, energies down um, because in the first turn because of enhanced hammer, especially uh, uh, well, maybe not so much uh, basic energy since it is a coin toss. Ooh, another battle compressor, nice. All right, so we're gonna just keep battling, battling, compressing away then. Um, let's take a look and see here. What should we get rid of? Uh, maybe we don't need the the bundle B. I don't think so. We may not need to see that bundle B. Uh, as you if you can notice, um, U E X is available to us since we are playing against a psychic deck. Um, but you know, yeah, I just don't think this is going to be the best case for us. Let's get rid of an Eevee and a Combi since we already gotten rid of a Flareon and a Vespaquen. So getting rid of a full line right there. Let's just get rid of some more Pokemon. And yeah, I think we can uh, we could probably play the energy. I think so. Yeah, let's just do it. We'll play the energy here, and then I'm gonna end the turn. He will probably hit us with a shatter shot. You can see in the, uh, psychic energy get dropped, and then get hit for 30. It could use the Audino uh, heal off 10 damage. Play the Juniper, get a fresh hand size of seven. Hopefully, we can evolve uh, the EV. Maybe get another water energy. We can actually attack. Uh, based from that water energy. If you get the DC too, I don't mind that either. Or at least we're not dealing with the other Mewtwo EX, the X Ball Mewtwo EX. But hey, my opponent failed to uh, attack. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it slow too. I'm gonna play it slow. Uh, let's just get rid of that Audino. Um, I will evolve this guy here, and I'm just getting a whole bunch of attackers going. Um, the question is, do I want to play the Mew here because of? Um, I'm just gonna sit on my hand. Let's go ahead. We're gonna go with Signs of Evolution here and grab another uh, Flareon and then just kind of call it a day. Uh, no need to see anything else. So we're just gonna call the Flareon, thin out the deck a little bit. And the thing is, I wanna be able to use Archie's Ace and Hole, so perhaps we could Ultra Ball way, get rid of the Mew and the Juniper, play down the Combi, play down the Flareon, and then play whatever else we get, and then use the Archie's Ace and Hole. Oh my goodness, we, were, we see Enhance Hammer. I totally, I, oh man, I saw, I should've seen that coming. Here is a Muscle Band. We see a Dimension Valley. Do we see the Psychic Energy Drop? He's going to be able to hit us for 50 damage uh, because of the Shatter Shot. He does flip heads. Oh my goodness. What's with these people flipping heads off of Professor Birch's observation? Here is a Crushing Hammer. He does flip heads on the Crushing Hammer. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. At least he flipped tails on the Roller Skates. And he, I mean, you know what? We will be able to evolve. Um to the flare round and uh, we will survive the turn. Thank goodness we're not playing the other EV that only has 50 HP. Uh, so here we go. Let's go ahead, we'll play this down. And it looks like we're gonna have to play the Mew EX and I'm gonna have to go with the Ultra Ball for nothing. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll get rid of these right here. Ultra Ball for nothing and uh, can take a look and see. We have uh, two Vespa Quins, only one Combi. Uh, definitely can get rid of one of the Vespa Quins, and then let's go ahead and play Archie's Ace in the Hole. Let's get out our Empoleon. We have the Execute in our discard pile, and oh, this is looking glorious. We even have our um, DCE here. Uh, let's thin out the deck some more, get some more Pokemon in the discard pile. Here's a Vespa Quin we can get rid of. We can probably keep um, the get rid of the Jirachi at this point, and uh, let's also let's uh, maybe we can keep the Audino. You never know when that can come in handy. Ah, eh, forget it. Let's just get rid of the Audino. Uh, there, there we go. Okay, and you know what? Let's just we'll even get rid of this Eevee. You know what? Yeah, let's get rid of that Eevee too. <laughs> oh dang it! We got the flare on right here. We're gonna get rid of the flare on the next turn. Let's go with that vengeance. Should be enough to knock it out. Hitting for 170 exactly. I didn't even count, and we got the 170 solid 170 hit knockout right here. We see a computer search. We got an Audino. We're looking really good. My opponent really doesn't have anything to respond against our Flareon. Maybe another hand hammer, but we have a DCE ready to go, and he brings out the LGM here. We're gonna bring out this Gun Guard. This Gun Guard could be a huge threat. We see a BGM over here. We could see a BM break. That would be pretty cool if we did see that. Uh, otherwise, right now, we are looking pretty comfortable. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use the Audino. We're gonna use the computer search to get rid of the Flareon. If you get out the Combi, that's it, my opponent passes the turn. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, let's go and grab this Propagation here. I'm gonna use the Audino. Um, oh man, I can't even I can't even use the Audino. This is silly. This is just silly. I can't use our, our, our Dino here. This Audino can't be used. It has to be played on the bench. This is a glitch. I should be able to play Audino right now, but I cannot. Um, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and just use the Execute and draw two more cards. Wow, look at this. This is amazing. We are actually thinning out our deck quite a bit, and that's kind of kind of worrisome for me. But all right, we're going to just propagate here. Um, question is, do we want a Lysander out? and knock out this uh, Gengar over there. I think so. I think we should do it. The Gengar is 170 HP. Let's just go ahead and grab this Lysander. Take advantage of the one and only Silver Bangle that we have. Take another two prizes right here. He doesn't have anything um, really uh, f for us to be worried about. Let's get rid of the Flareon and... Um, huh. We have Battle Compressor, but that's not going to be really necessary. I'm just going to grab the Vespaquen. I'm using this. Uh, you know what? I'm actually grab the super rod in case we need it, and um, yeah, let's go with that. We we'll grab the super rod here. Uh, let's go and let's grab. What do you call it? Um, nice deck you got there. Oh, thanks. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, okay, and then we will play Ultra Ball. Let's get rid of the execute as well as the uh, Dino, and then we're gonna grab um, the Vespaquen. There we go. Okay. So now we're all basically all set up. I will play the water energy onto this Empoleon. Now we have a backup attacker in the Empoleon. And then we have nine cards left. Let's go ahead. We'll just go for the Vengeance Hint for a nice solid 190. And that's going to be another two prizes right here. Just going to town with this deck right now. Ooh, hey, here's our Mr. Mime. Not that we really need it. It's not like my opponent really attacks the bench. And here's the Behem. We could get hit. Oh, we see a Starling Megaphone. Gets rid of our Silver Bangle. A bit. He doesn't even have any more EXs on his bench. And we see a Lysander here. Brings out our Flareon. And we have a DCE in our hand. So, um, so yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right, let's just do a diving draw here. We are, and that's it. My opponent concedes the match, seeing the writing on the wall, knowing that it is the end of the game. And we did take up quite a bit of time. My opponent didn't even get to play two minutes. Um, but yeah, we were able to set up, got Empoleon going. Flareon is the MVP. And wow, we drew quite a bit of our deck. 39 cards were drawn, uh, took four prizes. We could have probably taken all six if time permitted before my opponent conceded the match. But hey, I'll take the win and um, Wow, my opponent only played one energy. Oh, man, poor guy. Um, but in any case, that's going to be it. We won the championship. Let's take a look at our prizes. And um, Okay, so we got... Oh, nice. We got some more prizes right here. These are tradable packs, huh? And look at how many of these gold championships I got. Okay, I'm sure you guys got plenty of these, but I don't, I don't really play tournaments. I don't play tournaments at all, really. This is like the first tournament I played in a long time. A long time. All right, let's go and uh, let's take a look at our winnings. How about that, huh? You guys probably want to see this at the end of the episode. <laughs> and you can see, all right, so we got some uh, rewards right there. I could probably save that for another time. And let's just open. Um, ooh, I got plenty of packs I can open. I'll open one pack for us. And let's see. All right, here we go. Oh, what's it going to be? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's a Star Raptor. Okay. Well, that's it. So, hey, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys liked this tournament, you like uh, watching me play in the expanded format, especially with this Flareon Vespaquen deck, I really enjoy playing it. I have a lot of confidence in this deck. It's fun to play and easy to control. At least uh, I, I enjoy playing it and controlling it, uh, handling it. So, um,. Yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button below this video. If you guys are returning subscribers, thanks so much for being a part of this channel. Thank you for, uh, you know, supporting me in this epic and endless and countless Pokemon TCG online adventure, as well as other things. You guys take care. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.